instances. So it looks like you click on one of them, it gives you both. Okay, that's cool. So now I'll be able to show you what the top things are. Kind of cool. I mean, I probably will only do this once. I'm only doing this because I'm making a video. But for those of you who've not seen this, kind of a cool game. It's a... Uh, it's yeah, it's a it's a cool game, man. The way I would describe it is it's like Age of Empires if you guys have played Age of Empires. So, it's definitely got certain things that are really fun about it. So that's what I just got. So, squad healing. Ooh, I've never had that before. Well, that's pretty cool. Squad healing item. It only Squad healing item. Huh. So, I got my drum tower up to the third. So, um, that's my research points. So, the one thing if you play this game is you have to resist the temptation to spend money. Because, as you can tell, I spent... That was fourteen ninety nine, by the way. So, I don't recommend that. Like right now, I got intense buyer's remorse right now. But that's how they get you. So, you see that? That's how they get you. Can you turn this? Ah, look at this. You can turn it. This game, if you can tell, is really elegant, man. Your city looks so cute. Look at that. You got such a cute little city. You got your stonemasons. You got your... So, you got your artisans. Right. You got your farmers here. Right. And then you generate tax income through your houses. And then you can upgrade a lot of these houses. See that? The customization, we just boosted certain things. So, And then you have allied cultures. So this is your allied culture. Um... See that? So this is Egypt. You have these statues which give you boosts. See, that's your tax income. And then, really cute little... Built all this, man. You can tell, guys, I've been spending a lot of time on this, right? I've been spending a lot of time on this. But, gotta find a distraction, man. This is good, especially I'm a little... Overworked recently, I've been pushing myself. So, um... Do we have enough? Ah, we just don't have enough here. Oh, we don't even have enough here either. But yeah, we. I want this upgrade. What about this one? Huh. So this is an upgrade. I can make a farm. I haven't even made enough farms. The other thing is, besides getting capped by the resources, you get capped by manpower. That's another thing. That's why some of these things you're trying to gain. This is. I just realized it didn't give you that. So, I tried to fight this battle recently. Oh, this was hard. I got destroyed. So, yeah, you can fight. But my army, I don't have enough money right now to to do anything with my army. So, I'll show you guys. This is your alliance. This is the one feature of the Rise of Cultures that is kind of a little dumb. Like, your alliance doesn't give you much. All you have is you have the city you guys can build together, but it never, you don't really compete against the other alliances for much. It's pretty bad. And then you have this thing called the treasure hunt here, but this gets pretty hard too. Like you're supposed to progress and then you win prizes, but you get stuck after a while. So that's where I am right now. And then I end up donating, donating my stuff. But yeah, so that's the alliance. The alliance isn't, if you go through this, better than other people then you get some prizes we one time were here the quebec team beat us so but one time we got to number one and then this is internally i'm not doing too well i'm doing all the way down there so i just don't spend enough time on this but there's something called gems you could acquire these the first time i ever bought anything I try to buy these, and oh, these gems don't last, man. So that's why I wanted to show you guys what would happen if you buy like an event kind of thing. I guess what this means is I really will have to 
Let's see. I'm really going to have to just kind of want this daily special, man. But, like, I don't have anything right now. That's the problem. Event rank. I got 16, 15 days, though. So I have 15 days to do this. But, yeah, let me zoom out. Look at my city. Look at Egypt. This is my Egypt. Um, one of the cool things about this is that you have things that increase your productivity, right? Like more water and it's for beauty almost. You see, it's like a beauty landmark. So this too, this is like a beauty landmark. So that kind of, I find pretty cool in a city building slash management context. Because obviously you see, like this is something that, this actually produces stuff, but it also adds beauty. Like here's another thing. Well, we just upgraded, it adds beauty, but it also adds things. Like if I upgrade this, I get one more worker, which would be really helpful. So you see this? So for example, th these little pillars, you see culture sites they're called, they also literally, they just make your people more happy, which then makes them more productive. So your productive people, see, that's 33,000 produced versus the same thing. That's only 24,000. That's what I'm not producing with that. So, yeah, and this is another productive building that it'll get more and more productive. So, pretty cool. This is um, when I have more money off to show you guys. I'll have more money or more food, whatever. This is how you get your soldiers. This was another building. There was a cool Tesla event when I first started playing. And so, this building just produces stuff, you see. So, let's see what happens. This would be kind of nice. What about this? Uh, yeah, so there's a lot of buildings you can upgrade, and maybe this will come in handy. I don't know if I make more videos. I got seven hours to. Yeah. There's unfortunately a little bit of. It almost feels like gambling in this. You see this stuff? Like the rolling of a die and stuff like that. You see that? So that's. But you pick your poison, so to speak, right? Let me show you my other wonder. These wonders give you boosts. Look at that. It's a pretty building. And then collecting tax income right here. This is my Stonehenge. And then they have a Lighthouse of Alexandria. So this is a, you can trade with people. And the Lighthouse of Alexandria, it gives you extra things to trade. Let's just see if I trade, create an offer here. And then if someone takes it, I can buy stuff with my things too. So it's kind of, kind of cool, right? I just wish... You had a little bit room to progress in this. This is my one complaint about this. And then these events, man. I wish if you, like, I purchased this for, I think it was like $14.99 or something. It was a lot of money, man. Wish it, it would give you, it would give you more stuff. You know what I mean? That's the one thing. So, I'm definitely going to get to here. But it's, yeah, you see that? So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to get all the way here. You see, there's, look at it, there's so many. But, yeah, it's, take a while. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. I'll show you more again. Pretty game. It's cool to build a city, but, again, it just takes a little too long. And it's designed that way to make you, unfortunately, want to spend money, right? So, all right, guys, this is Jerry. And I'll go back to chest, chest, chests in the future. But until then, we will share with you more in the future. All right, guys. Talk to you soon.